Yeah. Welcome to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Show here on YouTube. My name is Hobo Tom, and on the phone we have my girlfriend. Say hello. Uh, Technology! That's amazing. So again, like I said, on uh, this Saturday, we're having, uh, well, I'm not having, but Code, but Cody Rhodes put together the All In Wrestling Show in Chicago, and as a bonus section, eventually I'll show you guys how to make a Chicago style deep dish pizza with, of course, sausage on it, which is yummy. So that's a little bonus video next time. But of course, because there is a big wrestling show, we need to guess what we have to do today. What's that? Make predictions. Yay! Yeah, so let's start off. Um, I think on the pre-show, it's going to be a tag team match with the Briscoes versus Kazarian and Sky, I think. I can't even read my own handwriting. But it's the Briscoes versus someone. Sweetie, uh -huh. I'll be the gentleman. You go first. Okay. The Briscoes or Kazarian and Sky? To the second one. Kazarian and Sky? I say yes. the Briscoes. Only because there's some pretty tough chicken farmers from Delaware. And then we go to a women's match with Rain versus Tessa Blanchard versus Britt Baker versus Chelsea Green. I'll say it's going to be Chelsea Green, only because of her working TNA as the crazy bride person. Sweetie, how about I'm you? I feel it's rain because of the rain. Madison Rain, yes. <laughs> I do need to get together some more detailed notes. Then we have Amel versus Christopher Daniels. Your turn, sweetie. I'll go Christopher. Mr. Daniels, I think he'll he'll win as well. Then we have from the B -B -B Bullet Club, because once you're a Bullet Club, you're a Bullet Club for life. You have Hangman Page versus Joey Janela. Hangman Page is going to win again. Cody Rhodes is putting this together. Hangman Page is probably the most obvious choice to win. How about you, sweetie? I'll go. Who do you pick? Hangman Page. Yes. Then we have Kazuchika Okada, the Rainmaker, or right now the Bloom Maker, versus the villain himself, Marty Skrull. Sweetie, who are you going to pick? The Balloon Maker. The Balloon Maker Okada. I'll, I will also choose the Balloon Maker Okada. Um, in New Japan, they're not going to have a junior a junior beat the heavyweight. Mari Scroll is probably the one person from Bullet Club who could eat the loss. And now this is going to get interesting because we have... Oh, who do we have next? Oh. Let's just say it's um, Nick Aldis versus Cody Rhodes for the NWA Championship, baby. I'm going to go Cody Rhodes only because this was his father's belt that he feuded, that the American Dream Dusty Rhodes feuded with, with many people in so many great matches so long ago. And Cody Rhodes is probably the one person who could really elevate the NWA title. How about you, sweetie? I'll go with Cody Rhodes, too. Cody Rhodes. Yes. Then, let's see here. We have Kenny Omega, the cleaner, versus Cerro Miedo Pentagon Jr. I think 
Only because Omega does hold the New Japan Heavyweight title. I'm not going to make Omega look weak. This probably will be the match of the night. I'm going to go Kenny Omega. I'll go with the second one. Pentagon Jr. This yeah. is going to be the match of the night. I wouldn't be... It's not, it's not a title match. I wouldn't be surprised if Pentagon Jr. wins. I just don't think Omega's going to lose. And then... We have Rey Mysterio and Bandito and Phoenix versus again from the B -B -B Bullet Club for life. We have the Young Bucks, the Bucks of Youth, and Kota Ibushi, the Golden Bucks. Ooh, that's a good one. So we have Rey, so we have Rey Mysterio, Bandito, and Phoenix versus the Young Bucks of Matt, and Nick Jackson, and Kota Ibushi. I'm gonna pick the Young Bucks and Kota Ibushi. Sweetie, how about you? Uh, I wanna go to the second one. The Young Bucks and Kota Ibushi. I think this might be their send-off match before they go to WWE. I don't think the Young Bucks are going to spend time in NXT. I mean, they're WWE ready, just like AJ Styles. And then, you don't have to pick this because I don't know who's in it. We have the <laughs> over-the-budget Battle Royal with, I think, 20 or 30 people. I'm going to go out on the edge, and I'll say that Pac, also known as Neville, shows up, makes a surprise appearance at All In, wins the Battle Royal. It's either going to be him or Flip Gordon. Oh, wow. I have a con conundrum. Here, sweetie, you have a choice of one of three names. Colt Cabana, Flip Jordan, or Pac? Who are you going to choose? I'm going to do Flip Gordon. Uh, I don't even know who to choose. Mainly because I don't know who's in it. I know, Well, I know who's in it. And the names I know aren't going to win. Because you have, I know there's Moose, Brian Cage. Some woman's actually in it. I'm going to say pack. I'll go with my initial feeling. And then, this is, we have Jay Lethal, the current Ring of Honor champion, versus takes on the winner of the said Battle Royal. So, this is going to be a very simple decision, sweetie. Are you going to say Jay Lethal or The Field? I'm going to do Lethal. Jay Lethal? I hate my decision making process. I say only because I went with Pac, and I could probably be horribly wrong about this and made to be looking like a true hobo on the internet. I say Pac's gonna bit Jay Lethal because I know Neville, who was Pac, is done with his WWE contract. I want to say his 90-day no-compete clause is still intact. But because this isn't a televised event, Pac's going to show up, win, and then kind of hold the Ring of Honor championship belt. So I want to say, as long as he's not on TV... Can do that. Again, I don't know the legalities of it. it. Might be might be past his ninety days. WWE might be feeling nice and say, "Yeah, you can go wrestle whenever. Just can't do anything while you're under contract." So that's it. That's all in, baby. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Those are our predictions. If you agree with our predictions. 
Please leave a comment if you disagree with our predictions. Please leave a comment. Eventually one day there's got to be some form of punishment or reward. Mainly me cooking my most amazing, beautiful, ever-caring girlfriend a Chicago-style pizza. Or she'll have to take me out to Bahama Breeze so I can get that pirate drink. Ooh. I can get the coconut and orange. Yeah, but the thing is, you'd have to pay for it, though. That's like the yeah. punishment reward. You can't have steaks without without something involved. But I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Oh, Bye. And, don't, and, and don't forget to check out my live stream on Saturday. I want to say it's going to happen. I'll, I'll probably start on 7 o'clock. I think the show starts at 8. So you'll probably... Either watch me eating for a while, or watch me cooking, or watch me drinking, or watch me eating and drinking, or just babbling on about wrestling. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.